Good morning, Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. As we stand on the threshold of the fourth industrial revolution, AI emerges not only as a technological force, but as a catalyst reshaping global politics, economics, prosperity, enhancements in quality of life, peace, and security. AI's growing role in governance, security, conflicts, health, agriculture, education, productivity, and efficiency, as well as diplomacy, carries profound geopolitical implications, offering both opportunities and risks that we must navigate wisely as we continue to realize unprecedented advancements of the Ford Industrial Revolution and beyond. The rapid development of emerging data-driven technologies such as AI has had a profound impact on social behaviors and nation-state behavior, necessitating urgent, smart, and adaptive government regulations and an appropriate, coherent, and pragmatic multilateral response without stifling creativity and innovation. AI has a potential to be a sentinel of peace. Algorithms can analyze vast amounts of data to detect early signs of unrest, conflicts before they escalate into violence. By real-time monitoring social media, economic indicators, and political developments, AI can alert us to rising tensions and provide insights on how to de-escalate them and facilitate for governments and organizations to intervene before tensions escalate. Opportunities are immense for meaningfully unleashing the AI political position for peace in the fourth industrial revolution. AI can enhance governance system, streamline public services, predict conflicts, and assist in peace building efforts through predictive anal analytics and real time intelligence. By fostering more efficient, transparent systems, even though the risk of AI widening the digital divide is worrying and a challenge, AI holds the potential to bridge divides and promote more equitable global development, particularly for Africa and other least developing countries and small island states, where data and digital infrastructure remains needed. These opportunities come with significant challenges and risks. The geopolitical landscape is already witnessing AI-powered competition, where nations harnessed AI to gain military, economic, and political advantage. This risks deepening inequalities and creating new forms of digital colonization, where the global south becomes reliant on technology controlled by a few global powers. If unregulated, AI could exacerbate cyber warfare, undermine trust in democratic systems through disinformation, and intensify surveillances threatening individual rights and national sovereignty. However, as we celebrate the potential of AI, we must also acknowledge challenges in presence, uh, it presents. It is no secret that the question of whether AI can meaningfully promote peace and uphold human rights is a complex one that requires a multilateral approach, guidance, commitment, and leadership, particularly the urgent need for response and the role of the Human Rights Council and its mechanisms. In countries ravaged by war, AI-powered drones are being utilized for humanitarian missions, delivering supplies to inaccessible regions. These advancements reflect a potent vision of AI as a tool for peace. This is not just a futuristic vision. It is a reality that is within our grasp. The same technologies that promote, that promises to uplift society as we continue to witness in recent times across escalating conflicts and wars, these emerging AI technologies and advancements in the fourth industrial revolutions are compromising peace in the fourth industrial revolution and beyond. What is increasingly evident is instead states are unleashing the AI political position in an intentional manner for political expediency and the weaponizing of AI is seemingly being normalized, violating all international laws in an unprecedented manner with no accountability and transparency whatsoever. In addition to amplifying existing inequalities and infringing upon individual rights, surveillance systems powered by AI can lead to oppressive regimes monitoring their citizens, stifling dissent, and, and curtailing freedoms. AI is a powerful tool and shaping and driving the fourth industrial revolution, but it is not neutral, and it can be a challenge to peace if unchecked and not smartly regulated. The algorithms that govern these systems reflect the virtues and or biases of those who design and deploy them and reflect or execute their political positions, perpetuating systemic inequities and human rights and human dignity violations. In addition, we must also be vigilant 
against the risk of AI reinforcing existing inequalities and mindful and be mindful of unleashing the AI political position as self or state serving to violate human rights and human dignity without accountability and transparency. For Africa, least developing countries and small island states, the concern lies in being sidelined or exploited within the data and AI-driven global order and ecosystem and value chain. The uneven distribution of AI's benefits, capacities, competences, and infrastructure could widen the gap between developed and developing nations, reinforcing cycles of dependency and vulnerability for poverty, insecurity, instability, and disturbs the peace. As AI becomes more integrated into governance and, in security, and security frameworks, marginalized regions risk being left behind or worse being battlegrounds for proxy AI conflicts between powerful nations and unleashing of weaponized AI dis disturbing the peace. Thus, the call for a commitment of the global community to strengthen and reset multilateralism meaningfully. Commit and be accountable to a functional and multilateral institutions holding states and individuals accountable, particularly the use and deployment of AI to threaten peace and security in the context of the fourth industrial revolution. What is increasingly worrying is an emerging AI and smart technology race, redefining and rebalancing economic dominance, scaling up economic trade and security rivalry and weaponization of AI with no accountability and retaliatory economic and political measures to contain or consolidate dominance and, and an increasing economic and political threat to the global south and a widening digital and AI gap and poverty. Some key recommendations I will leave you with. One is global AI governance. Multilateral organizations must spearhead efforts to develop global AI norms, ensuring transparency, accountability, and ethical deployment. Two, capacity building. Africa LDCs and small island states need sustained investments in digital and data infrastructure, AI education and capacity building, and local innovative innovation ecosystems to avoid falling behind. And three, peace and security frameworks. Integrating AI into peace building efforts must come with safeguards against its militarization and misuse in conflict zones. Four, inclusive de uh, de de development. AI must be harnessed to close not widen the development gap. This requires partnerships that transfer knowledge and technology to empower all nations. In conclusion, Excellencies, AI holds the promise of fostering global peace, but only if we rise to the challenge of ensuring it serves humanity equitably. The future is unwritten, and the responsibility lies with us to steer AI towards a more peaceful and inclusive world.